student Rose Closer a shock winner of the 2024 Unbound Gravel in biggest ever sprint finish. Jirak Schurz second. Saturday, June 1st, 2024. Closer a German part-time cyclist had to close a two-minute gap after a wheel change, but defeated the odds to walk off with Gravel's biggest prize. The race was a thriller, with the fastest ever time, the biggest ever sprint finish, and a winner out of the blue. Closer beat no fewer than eight of the world's top gravel riders in the dash for the line in Emporia at the end of the flagship 200-mile event. The second place rider was also something of an underdog. Jirak Schurz, SD Works Pro Time, 35, is even more of a newcomer to gravel, having left behind her life as a swimmer in the World Tour. Third place went to Paige Onler, a rider who left behind a career in medicine to go full-time gravel only last year. The podium perhaps underlines the growth of women's gravel and the widening net of riders who are now able to compete and taste success. While the women race start was more staggered from the men's fields than in the past, and many said it felt like a race of their own. A large bunch formed in the first half of the race, the first attack was by former winner Lauren de Christianzo, who went solo on the climbs and led through the rocky flint section of Little Egypt before being brought back in the final quarter of the race, into a select group. Closer was in there but it looked like her race was over when she crashed, punctured, and later had to stop to change wheels, for the second time in the day. However, she bridged the two-minute gap on her own, and then bested everyone in the unusually large group sprint. With the course in the northern part of Kansas remaining dry, the race set the fastest time in its history, with Closer's winning time of 10 hours 26 minutes and 2 seconds. This was my first unbound. I only started cycling a couple of years ago and I'm still a full-time PhD student, so I cycle part-time. I still can't believe I won. My day was definitely adventurous and very mixed. I was happy to make the decisive split and be in the front group, but I think it was before the first feed zone that I hit a big rock, crashed and had a flat tire in the front. Luckily I was running inserts so I could try to keep going with the girls but they were really strong so it was very hard. We did a pit stop change on my front wheel and I only lost around 2 minutes to the leaders. I told myself I'm going to die trying to close this gap, but I made it. I got back, I was pretty cooked but in the end I was so happy that we had completely our own race that I decided I'm going to keep pushing and keep working, and give a lot of pulls because I want to show everyone how cool it can be that we have our own race. At the end I knew I had a pretty okay sprint after a long day out. Closer said, thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls. And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal. When I feel like this, I'm a mortal.